All right, so my man Rock here is going to give us a demo of the Halo app, um, actually using a staging server so we don't call a real live cabbie to the Halo office. So Rock, uh, why don't you just take us through um, what I'm looking at right now. So right now you're looking at uh, the customer app. The promise is with just two tabs, you're going to be able to hail a taxi from anywhere within the city of Toronto, a licensed cabbie. So it's uh, extremely simple. You've got Barty here, our guy, and you can just move him around to sort of see the cabs in the area. Right now there's only one because this is just staging. You can find your location, or if you'd like to go the next street over, you can sort of move the guy there, call the cab to that street, so when you say pick me up, so say if I knew I was going to be at a, at a certain place or maybe if I wanted to uh, hail a cab for a friend to like, come over and meet me somewhere. Exactly, entirely possible. You can hail a cab across the street, across the city for a friend. And as long as there's a cab in that region, you can, you can do it. So. Cool. Okay, well, let's uh, call a cab and then see what it's like from the, uh, the cabbie's perspective of what, how this uh, kind of comes sure. up in the system. So right now you can see it detected. We're at 219 Queen East. We're at the Halo office. We've got, uh, you see a cab a little east of us. And so two taps. You just pick me up here. Confirm the address and you say hail taxi. And at this point, it starts contacting the nearest driver. And see, the driver gets an accept or reject option. Okay. See how far it is. And so once we they accept, accept the, the job. job. Okay, so uh, with this, we're s it's showing that uh, essentially because it's a staging server, mm -hmm. the cabbie has um, arrived, correct, or is, is on its way? So this is this basically gives the driver the uh, pickup location, so 219 Queen East. He's got an option to view the map. He gets the first uh, name and initial of the customer. Okay. So it creates a more personal experience for both. They can call the customer if there's anything wrong, if it's going to be late, or to get more information about the pickup location. Otherwise, we've got a promised arrival time, and this, it's ASAP. So straight to the customer, and you hit arrive when you're when you're there. So for the cabbie. So the cabbie, for example. Okay. Well, just before, uh, so yeah. and then on mine, it shows kind of uh, where the cab is, and I guess um, if we were <laughs> if you were to take the iPad out and walk around now, it would actually show the sure. cab getting a little bit yeah, closer sure. to me. It'll so show me getting to you. So um, you, so you can track sort of the, your cabbie come to you in real time. Mm -hmm. And then there's I see up there that's your uh, driver information exactly. and your rating. So I know I'm getting. Uh, a good cabbie, and then is that that number? Is that the cab door? Yeah, that's the door number. It's on the front two doors of the cab. This is the most important sort of number from the customer side because that helps you track the exact cab. So every cab here has a unique door number, mm -hmm. and uh, you just find that door number, head to the cab, and it'll be the right one. So perfect for not getting in the wrong cab accidentally, exactly. thinking exactly. that. Uh, exactly. Okay. So now, um, so say assuming that we've arrived in this little demo, what happens next? Yeah. So the cab goes through ASAP, hits arrived. And at this point, so I get a little notification here saying um, my cabbie's downstairs or outside. Exactly. Um, and then I can actually uh, call you if like I, I can't find you. Exactly. Or, okay. So at this point, it says you taxi. You know, please head down in five minutes. You have free five minutes of waiting time. At that point, you can also call the cabbie right here. You mm -hmm. just tap this button and you call. Him. Otherwise, uh, it's just. Uh, Go downstairs, head into the cab. Okay, and so. then the, so this uh, POB option. What is that for the the cabbie? For the cabbie, this POB is passenger on board. Okay. So at, as soon as you get into the cab, this kind of initiates the uh, the customers, uh, the driver side of it when the customers in. So they go passenger on board, and this alerts the user that they're on board. So let's say I hit go POB. You can see as soon as on the customer so side. So little guy is sitting on the cab now. Exactly. Ready to rock. Board, and the, driver at this point has the uh, you know, opportunity to sort of put a destination. You can put an exact one, or you can sort of uh, select from the destination picker. So, so this is interesting. You've actually divided the city of Toronto up into zones exactly. for cabbies to kind of know specific regions. Exactly. So okay. it's just a, it's sort of a way to tell our system sort of where the cabbie's heading okay. ahead of time just so that we can start allocating the next job for them. So let's let's select one of the, the zones. So I, yeah. right now we're probably like downtown east, I yeah, would guess. Let's do that. So we're downtown east. Uh, this will show anything sort of south of Eglinton okay. and uh, east of Young, and west of Jane, or okay. sorry, west of uh, Port uh, Vic Park. All right, so let's go to uh, Cabbage Town because no one would ever want to go to Corktown. <laughs> let's do that. And then, uh, so I guess this is the the view that you would see during the destination, exactly. and then uh, we're not going anywhere. So what what? So say that I've arrived. What happens next? So as soon as you arrive, you get to the destination. At that point, the cabbie can take payment. Mm -hmm. So everything's processed from within the app. Uh, let's say the metered amount amounted to $10. That's all you enter. You pay the metered amount and plus a preset 
tip percentage mm -hmm. by the customer. So you can see the auto tip here is $2.5. I've set my auto tip at 25%. Mm -hmm. Total is $12.50. And the cabbie then just charges your account. You yeah. get a confirmation. Confirm that. Okay. We just confirm that. I actually like that they add the, add the payment system in, or the amount in manually, so that if there's any issues with the GPS, I don't get charged like an extra five bucks because it says we went around, you know, no, exactly. a crazy amount. Exactly. So at this point, you can see you, he's entered the exact amount in the meter. Mm -hmm. He gets to rate the customer, and that way we can sort of have quality control from both sides. It's a fair system where the customer gets rated and the driver gets rated. So you can see the driver total is twelve fifty. We'll rate the customer. Five, Five stars okay. is excellent. You got very good, good, bad, and very bad. Okay. On this occasion, we'll keep it at excellent. Yeah, and now these aren't like just kind of inert ratings because uh, Halo handles all the customer support in house. So, yeah. um, you know, if there's if there's an issue, I know you guys notified me. Uh, um, I had a problem Friday when the uh, Rogers Network went down, yep. and yep. you guys knew about it and uh, were ready to talk to me about what my experience was like, even though it uh, wasn't ha didn't have anything to do with the Halo app. So that's pretty cool. Exactly. So now, now on my my end, the user end as well, I can also uh, give a rating to let the cabbie know. Exactly. So it gives you, so automatically you get, as soon as the cabbie punches in take payment and mm -hmm. confirms it, you get a receipt in your email mm -hmm. in addition to this uh, sort of virtual receipt in the app. 1250 by card. You can see it breaks it down. You get to rate the driver at this point. And you hit done. And then we're good. And you're good. You're on to sort of search for more taxis. Take your next ride at this point. <laughs> awesome. All right. Thanks, Rock. No problem.